how, how easily, and, and you know, time passes, how people come into our lives and out of our lives, how they influence us and, and how they, they make us who we are. And, and, and then in the long run, um, we're all forgotten. You know, in, in the long run, uh, you, you kind of wonder what's left, you know, uh, you know, stones in the cemetery or, or uh, uh, books on the shelf in the library or something like that. But I, I, I start all of this um, in talking about my life uh, at Ohio State uh, by, by acknowledging that there are just so many people and so many events, some of which I have now forgotten, that, have, that bring us to the present. And, and here we are now, but having said now, it's already passed. My name is Arthur F. Land. Um, I'm a professor emeritus, <clears throat> which is a title they give old professors that won't go away. <laughs> I'm uh, Ken Morantz, Kenneth Morantz, chairman of the Art Education Department at Ohio State for a decade or more. I was the chair of the of the Division of Art Education at Northern Illinois University for the past several years. And I had been at NIU for 16 to 20 years. And um, I had come here to work with Terry Barrett in the summers. I loved Terry Barrett's work so much. And his, his art criticism and mine are very closely aligned. Terry and I taught together in the summers here several times and in the process of teaching the students at Ohio State I learned that it wasn't as scary a place as I had always envisioned it being and that the people here were absolutely incredibly supportive kind and generous of spirit. I don't know that I had given um, very serious thought about all of the ramifications of art education. Um, like so many uh, young people, uh, I enjoyed the fact that I could make things, I could draw with some accuracy. I had worked commercially as a cartoonist. Uh, I was an inker for the Captain Marvel comics. For me, uh, there was the, the, just the joy in making art and the thought of being a teacher that would help others to experience that same kind of pleasure and, and excitement. In, in, in making things. Um, the thought of, of uh, art education as we discuss it now uh, was, was just so far removed from me. The idea that uh, there was a larger discipline of, of, of knowing, uh, really stemming from uh, writings such as John Dewey's Art as Experience, uh, it was just, at that point, unknown to me. I got a degree in economics. Uh, my father was a businessman, and I stupidly thought there was a relationship between the study of economics academically and business. I soon found there was, there was none. I was taking art courses on, as part of the fun and the opportunity, sculpture in particular. It was in 1948 that I started working as an art teacher in uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey. The um, director of art education uh, was a woman uh, named Marion Quinn Dix, who was memorable in the field. There's now an award at the NAEA in, in her name. Uh, but Marion was just a warm, generous person who just loved art, loved people, and it was an amazing uh, art supervisor. She and her husband, Lester Dix, who was a uh, professor at Brooklyn College, had, through some previous connections, uh, started to work with Manny Barkin and Harold Popinski, both of whom were at Ohio State, in planning a conference on creativity. 
the conference was sponsored by the Rockefeller Foundation and uh, at the time was starting to engage in some important uh, discourse about the nature of creativity as, as, a, as, a, as a broad essential theme for teaching, not only art, but teaching in, in general. And his research on creativity, it's come in a full loop and it's now one of the most popular topics for research in both art education and in arts policy and administration. Um, as they planned that conference, uh, uh, Marion said to me, Manny is coming to town, why don't you come and sit in with us? And so I, as, as a young art teacher, was so privileged to be sitting in with all these big wigs uh, you know, and, and planning the conference. But that was the, the occasion on which I first met Manny Barkas and thus began my, my career at Ohio State. From the very beginning, when Manny Barkin was the first chair of the department, um, it has in, included some of the most important people to make their marks on art education. Manny Barkin's great strength was that he had many friends and associates throughout the United States. I don't know what it was that, Man, that Manny saw in me. Um, uh, I think at the outset uh, we were we hit it off. There are times when you meet somebody and you like them immediately. I mean, what happened was I guess Jerry must have talked to Manny Barkin, and while I was getting ready for class at Fresno State one day, the phone rang and it was Manny, and uh, and and I could feel him pulling me away from Fresno. We had offered Ken Morantz a position on the Ohio State faculty um, uh, about two, two or possibly three years prior to his actually coming. I have known Ken uh, oh, since the late 1940s when he was a student in New Jersey. I think he was teaching in New Jersey, and I was teaching in New Jersey, so we knew each other then. I was asked to consider coming to Columbus. Uh, Manny Barkin had died. Manny was a big wheel in art education at the time. He was building a strong department. We liked each other, and that's where it all started. At that time, it was a division because it was still relatively small and according to university rules you had to have a certain so I think there were 10 faculty members and there were only eight I think when we came when I came and that was one of the you mentioned one of my achievements one of my achievements was attracting enough new faculty so that we became a department and with all that came with departments I feel good about that and it grew since then up to close to 20 at one time um, and uh, as a result, we worked together on a number of different projects through the, the aegis of the National Art Education Association or the Ohio Education Art Education Association uh, and, um, and, and developed the friendships with people. I can't tell you what a thrill it was for me to be teaching at a university. Um, uh, a place where you could spend time dealing with ideas and uh, interesting people. Gil Hall, Chuck Surrey, Joe Fitzpatrick, Sid Chaffetz, um, uh, Erwin Hebner, David Black. David Black, uh, there was a large sculpture that was um, at the 15th Street entrance of uh, and to the campus. It's been moved from that point. I don't know where it is. A large white structural piece. Um, uh, that's his.